three rank four. Sweet. Looks like they give you a couple tech fragments too, which is nice. It's not a lot, not game breaking, but it's something. Still haven't shopped around any of the vendors for those yet. I'll keep things safe here while Should probably do that soon. I'm getting close to the cap, I think. Uh, yeah, kind of. Oh, 5,000. I was thinking it was 3,000. Welcome. Please select an available travel route. All right. This might be the uh, last area on Onderon. Master Zhou would be proud. Oh, is uh, Theron with us again? If he is, I'll just go with that, because, um, you know, it Back would make sense that he's here now. Droids. We're going in. Hope we can make enough noise. <laughs> Die, puny machines. You face the deadliest okay. beast in Onderon, the Maija Karo. May not be wrong about that. Whoops. Hey, look, Imperials. Master Zhou would be proud. Is it bad that I don't know who Master Zhou is? Okay, which way am I going here? Going up, apparently. I wonder if those guys will aggro from down below. Yeah, I like that a uh, Force Quake actually stuns weak opponents. Looks like an ion container. Very helpful. Oh. I thought I had a proc there, but we're off. Ironically, at that point, I probably should have smashed the channel. For uh, guys who appear to be snipers, they're not really doing a very good job about it. Let's stun this guy. Kill the healer first, right? Use another building between. Give myself more time to refresh the proc. I think I still made it though. I feel like it's a really cool mechanic. I just wish it did more damage. But maybe I just need to get some set bonuses and some um, tacticals and things. I haven't really looked into the um, amplifiers yet either. Seems like there's a lot of customizability there. Master Joe would be proud. Can I climb this ladder? How do I? I click on that. I know I'm out of range, but it's only like a little scaffold, so I have no idea how to get up there. What if I stand right below it? Nope. Can I jump down from above? Is that the idea? No. Okay, I feel really dumb, but what am I missing here? This is the dumbest thing. There's a ladder right there, and I can't climb it. Plant suppression beacon. I mean, that's got to be what that is, right? Am I missing, like, a grapple that I had to find or something? It's not that I can't see it. I'm just too far away. Oh, uh, please tell me this is going to be one of those dumb things where I spend, like, an hour trying to figure out how to click on this stupid beacon. Well, if I get up here, oh, maybe I can climb up those rocks. Is that the idea? Am I stuck? No, okay. Oh, there's, okay, there's like a ledge up there. I feel like I'm just like starting to see things now. Yeah, that can't possibly be the way over there, can it? No, 
I'm just seeing things. All right, well, I apologize if it's something really obvious that I'm just missing here and you guys are all like, yelling at the screen, but it's not that obvious because I'm not seeing anything. Pretty sure I cannot climb on these rocks here. No, they're, they're basically flat. I mean, I could look around for like a grapple or something. I was thinking maybe you come from above, like from a different direction, but I mean, apparently not, because even if I jump down there, I'm just going to go straight down. I really don't want to Google this, but I just don't want to spend forever here. Let's explore over here and see if maybe there's, I don't know, a, a grapple thing or something, or another path that comes from above. There are enemies to kill. It seems like they want you to go this way at some point. Part that really annoys me is that it's not the game's not being realistic. And I know it's a game, but you know they should still try to be not like credibility breaking here. Some uh, verisimilitude would be good. Here's an SAT word for you. Like if I am a Jedi Master, surely I know how to climb a ladder. I could probably like levitate myself up there, but that's clearly not an option. <laughs> I'm wondering why I closed there, it was so that this melee guy on me would also come close and I could do a little bit of residual damage through um through DK wave. Alright, he's gonna die in a second. Well, that didn't really help, so let's go back up here and try this again. Hopefully it's not bugged, because there does do seem to be a few bugs and unpolished things. I already use that in this uh, expansion. But like on the main storyline... Oh, right, I phase walk. Alright, let's read this and see if that helps. Communication signals are weak. Plant a beacon to coordinate with your team's other attacks. I'm going to give this to like... 542, and then I'm going to just Google it. Okay. I could see the damn thing. I could probably click on it because I'm closer now. Oh, maybe this is the trick. Aha! I think I'm onto something. Literally. Maybe not. Oh, I thought like that has to be it, right? See, and I could, like, if there wasn't a lat- oh, maybe if I get up here, I can do it. I just can't stay up there, like, it, my character falls down as soon as he gets any kind of- okay, okay, no. Ah. <laughs> this is the dumbest thing. Like, if there wasn't a ladder there, I could see it being part of the- part of the plot. But there is a ladder, so, like, why can't I just climb it? Is it supposed to be glowing or something? Like, what- This is the dumbest thing. I can like almost make it, but my character just won't he won't get on there. Or he does, but he falls right back down. Alright, 541. Watch it say like you have to go back outside and like reset the instance when it bugs. <sighs> See, I was sure that's it, but it, like even if it was it, you think they would make it a little more obvious and and uh make it work real smoothly and easily. Because, like, they make the fighting in these things so, you know, the, the lowest common denominator, so, like, anybody can do it because it's a story mission. you think they would make things like this, like the puzzles or whatever it's supposed to be, super easy as well. So it, it can't be a puzzle. It doesn't feel like they want people Googling, like, how-to guides, like, as a requirement to do this. What am I missing? Alright, 542, give me one second because I'm going to Google this. 
Um, spring the trap beacon location. I really hate like googling things and looking up answers for video games, but if there's anything I hate more, it's when I spend like an hour trying to figure out my own, only to find later when I finally give in. Oh, it was bugged. Yep, we've got a whole Reddit thread about it. Click on the lower part of the ladder to climb up. Am I really that dumb? Okay, I swear I did that, didn't I? I'm gonna watch the video on that. I swear I was clicking on that. Okay, at least it should definitely glow blue when you hover over it, but like everything else does. Well, I'm glad I'm not the only one who didn't figure that out, clearly. I was... Maybe because I was running into it and assuming he was going to grab one without clicking it? I don't know. Anyway, sorry for the delay. Alright, let's take our anger out on these droids here. Seem to be stunnable too. And they are. I know there, um, I think there's a set bonus that gives you an extra charge of this too, so it can make it really powerful. Oh, confront Dark Savic. Sounds like a boss fight. Of course I have like no cooldowns, but... Oh, wrong way. <laughs> I like how the corpses just respawn. Master Zhou would be proud. Who's Master Zhou? I'm sure I should know who that is, but... I don't. Put phase walk. Nope, let's not. Not so fast. The diversion was impressive, but I know your moves too well to be fooled by a mere imitation. Ah, so she is real. You're not going to escape, Savik. Just surrender. Ah, Malora would have enjoyed this. The insect threatening the spider from within its web, she'd say. I sometimes miss her particular insanity. You're clear for launch, Petrith. The sensor jammers will activate when you exit orbit. You'll be all but impossible to track. Await my return, dear Onderon. You shall know the splendor of my rule once again. Let's ensure a bit of privacy while we're at it. Shuttle 2. Commence aerial assault on hostiles in Zone 5. Now then. I've prepared for this day for so long. Where to even begin? You oh, that was some me down in my prime, then moved on without a second thought. Corellia would have been my tomb had my droids not found me. In truth, I should thank you. You made me what I am. Taught me the best way to move forward. Well, you're I haven't welcome. risked direct combat in a decade. I send my droids, or manipulate fools like Petrif to fight for me. But now, at last, the Force has reunited us. I've spent years studying you, crafting the ideal response to your every tactic. Shall we test what I've learned? So if she hasn't actually been in combat for ten years, this might not be too hard, because theory is one thing, but practice is another. I regret harming you. If I had any other choice now, I'd take it. You have another choice now. Take it. Revenge can't heal. It can only destroy. Then let it destroy you! Alright. Now let's put down phase walk. Watch this door, like, close. Uh, hold tight. <laughs> you waited ten years, you could wait another two seconds, right? Here we go. Charge field. I think I should probably get out of that. A little bit of mechanics here. Yeah, compared to her droids, she actually drops pretty fast. Well, at least there are some mechanics, though. 
I do feel like the story boss fights could use a little bit more, uh, a little bit more to them. Again, something that single player games seem to do well that um, MMOs do not, or they have good mechanics in like operations fights, which is why I like them, but not so much in story fights. Usually, there have been a couple good ones. Was supposed to make me stronger. All of my rage, all of these years, it still wasn't enough. Not I've by studied, miles. trained, risen to the Dark Council. What does it take to beat you? How can you be so powerful? I'll admit to I do kind of... I, they made the game so easy at this point for the story missions, which I, I know makes sense, but it's almost like they need... Like, I like how they had like a veteran mode and a master mode and a story mode for the um, for KOTOR and KOTET. That was nice. I could do it on veteran and actually feel like I, I had a challenge to it. I'm strong because I fight for others. The Force is a part of all living things. How could anyone hope to master it when they only focus on themselves? Please. It's clear that I'll never beat you. I... I, I don't... I, I don't think I even want to anymore. I just want to understand. I can't return to the Sith now. Not after this. They cannot help me become more than I am. Only you can. Hey there. Sounds like we won. Everyone all right? Some of the city guards were hit by the airstrikes, but we're pretty sure they'll make it. Looks like you have one prisoner. Was Petrif in the other shuttle that launched? Yes. He left as soon as I got here. I can help you. You can easily track him down with his sensor jammer's algorithm. I'll give you the algorithm. Whatever you want. Yeah? How about the other fleets the Empire is targeting? Where will your friend strike next? Mech Shah. It's an old mining outpost that was converted to a fueling station. I don't have the details, but that's our, uh, Malgus's next target. Really? Just like that? Don't complain, Droid. I Let's love Mech Shah. Let's get back to the palace. We can sort all of this out there. Sounds good to me. Wonder if there's any chance of converting a Dark Council member back to the light side. Don't give up on anybody, I guess. Although, I think she still should probably pay for her crimes, and... Yeah, I guess it doesn't really make sense that... Like, Sith could be, like, rehabilitated as Jedi. Like, you know, shouldn't they be... I was gonna say, shouldn't they be in prison? But I guess the whole point of prison is to rehabilitate, and maybe the Jedi could sense... Um... Sense false remorse and repentance more than most. Alright. I imagine we need to go back to the palace. I also think it's funny, too, that the hardest part of this whole mission has been finding the right ladder to click on, or finding how to click on the ladder. But what can you do? Yeah, okay. Sounds like our time on Andron is coming to an end. Didn't get picked this time, but I'll keep things safe here while you're gone. Also, did I do two missions? I might have done two missions. Don't say I never did any. Just getting into the story, I guess. Cooperation is sincere. She's actually told you the Empire's plan. Seems that way. I checked with General Dayrune, and we have a fleet headed to Mechshaw for refueling. The pieces fit. Arn and I will head there right away to meet with the fleet's commander, see if we can start rooting out the imps. If we can stop them on Mechshaw like we did here, we might just stand a chance of defending Corellia. I wonder if, like, lighter ships or smaller ships can have, like, better hyperdrives in this era, so that they go faster than other ships. That would make sense why, like, why we're darting around the whole Winter core, and yet our big ships are taking so long to... Refuel and resupply. Although I guess it also, you know, they have to stop at each station and, you know, fill up the fuel tank, which maybe takes time. Anyway, I'm probably thinking way too much about the logistics here. Have any of the Republic's other reinforcements come under attack? Not yet, but we have all ships on alert. Let's hope they don't try anything else as elaborate as they did here. See you on Mechshaw. Senator, thanks for everything. Safe travels. We've got Savik on an Alliance shuttle, ready to move out. She says she wants to stay with us. Well, with you, mainly. Of course, the Republic prefers that we transfer her to their control. How would you like to proceed? Oh, so wonderfully, like, you get to have her as a companion if you choose that route? That's that's a cool choice. Um, but yeah, I think... Uh, I'm not even light side, dark side. I was wondering about that. Um, so I'd really want to hand her over to the Jedi, to Master Nostral and his people. Um, so I'm not sure, is, 
does the Jedi fall under the Republic or do they fall under like us? I'm gonna go with the Republic, but I, I hope that means the Jedi. Transfer Savic to Republic custody. It's best if they handle her questioning. General De Roon will be very pleased. What about the mighty Jakaro? Fighting side by side was even more fun than I remember. Please don't make us find some other idiot to work for. Uh, that is, we'd much rather work for you. Uh, other idiot? <laughs> sure. We'll be glad to have you. Lana can set you up with quarters back on Odessa. I oh, call the top bunk. Ridiculous. For now, though, we will meet you on Meksha. We have your ship fueled and ready whenever you wish to depart. Using Savik's information, we've sent troops to follow King Petrif. We expect to have him back in a matter of days. His trial will be interesting, of course, but I'm more concerned with what will come after. If the nobles can agree, the question of leadership could turn violent. Yeah, I wonder, do they... Is it like a... From what I seem to recall, it's actually like an election. Like, they vote for their queen, as opposed to just being hereditary. I think it often is hereditary, like they vote for the next in line. But that was actually a big point of uh, the KOTOR plot as well. I don't know too much about this lady, but she seems competent. You'd make a good queen, Nabet. They should choose you. Thank you. But I don't want to rule my people. I only want to speak on their behalf and share their wisdom with the rest of the galaxy. Good luck on Mechshaw, Commander, and on Corellia. All right, we have You're sprung the trap, oh, accepting that right before my boost wears off in about two minutes. So good timing, I guess. All right, guys, well, I might take a little break for some dinner, but, um, or I don't know, maybe I'll keep going, we'll see. But uh, regardless, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you all again on Mechshaw. Thank you.